Welcome back, lovelies, to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 with me, Zillian Graves. Wearing a shirt that is probably an affront to the system that I'm playing on, but I don't care. This is one of my old favorite shirts from way back. Anyway, I have a thing. Yes, the uh, handle to the jack. I have this thingy. Also, I realized that whoops, this thing, it is the key for 7439. Yeah, sure, that's wonderful. It also has a button on the back of it. My brother Raziel actually found this the first time he picked this key up, and if I had any kind of an audience, they would probably be yelling at me about that. But, no worries there. <laughs> My lovely black dream eater. It's funny, that little thing in the corner shows I have no one watching, and yet I get a comment. <laughs> Mystery comments. Anyway, um, so yeah, I have the jack, and that means I can get into the library. Ah, oh, now it ticks on. Anyway, uh, I can get to the library and move the, uh, the whatchamacallums, the, uh, bookshelves. Move those in the right order so that I can get across the way and get to a new area. I also need to go back to the... Back to the garage area where all the dogs are. I may do that much later when I have ammunition. Because <laughs> uh, bullets are nice and I only have three shotgun shells left. Oh dear. Also, I'm going to put this in the box just because I can. Allows me to save my space, as it were. I didn't actually look. What do I got in here? Uh, the storage room key, cutting tool, large gear, that'll come in handy fairly soon, actually. I'm going to grab that. Boink! Uh, yeah, sure. I'll readjust later. Or readjust now. I didn't know I could do that. Cool! Ah, uh, Gunpowder, flash grenade, and a combat knife. I'm not going to put my gun in there. What the hell? Alright, I'm gonna take the flash powder and I'm gonna take the flash grenade. I don't know how I mixed that up. And the combat knife, just in case. It's more than likely I'm gonna be needing those. Now that I think about it, I do need the gunpowder because I remember on the map, uh, somewhere over here, was it? No, was it upstairs? Wait, where in the heck? It were here. Hmm. There's regular gunpowder there, but somewhere is actually the high-grade stuff. I saw it. Where did it get? Ah! Ugh. Back to the kennel, huh? Hmm. Well... Ah, bloody hell. Okay, so... Let me just get my bearings here. Yeah, that travels up that side, which leads around there. All right, through the break room. Okay, so I can easily get back to the uh, place that I need. Also, how you like my uh, retro style? This is awesome. Now... Also, I haven't tested at all to see if What's-His-Face is still trying to kill me. I'm quite certain he is, but, uh... The volume is low. I should turn that up. He's definitely around, isn't he? Mr. X gonna give it to me. Oh, come on! Really? Laters. <laughs> Alright, do I have anything in this, in this here room? One of these, the wooden boards, which I will actually take this time and strategically place it on... Hmm, 
probably that window. Because there's a few times where I need to go back and forth through there, because that's where it leads back to the the uh, kennel and the, by extension, garage. Oh, also, I am making sound, aren't I? Let's see. Uh, can I am delightful. Back on camera. Not camera, the countdown. Oh, also, fun fact, my pinky, or not pinky, my uh, ring finger from about here up has lost a little bit of feeling. Really annoying, that. I know what caused it, too. So I was carrying groceries back uh, the other day. Can you just not... Let me just kind of weasel my way around you and... You just go off some other way, okay? Sound good? Alright. That's not gonna work, is it? Oh! No wonder I didn't see him. His crotch was hiding bullets. That's a good hiding place, actually. Oh, I hear him stomping around. Oh, this is gonna be a tight one. Yeah, he's already turning to face me. The liquor licked me! What a surprise! <laughs> Real quick... Ah, we're fine. Perfectly indestructible. One sec. Um, to get to the library... Ah, uh, it'd be easier... And, well, hmm. If we go up to the second floor... Yeah, we'd have to go all the way through this place, and I think there's still a liquor in that room. So, let's double back around. Ah! We're not so fine anymore! Oh, blimey! Why'd I have to stop and turn around? Oh, for a sec he was in here. Oh, dear. That Mr... Oh! Hey, Marv! How you doing? Just keeping this place nice and secure? Alright. There's nothing in here, right? Yeah, I already used the first aid. Why are you running back? Leon! Run forward! Okay. So... This actually leads to an area that I didn't quite want to get to just yet, but I guess it is on this side. We may as well get done with the thing. Leads to the main hall, goes around, that door's locked. Actually... I think I can unlock that door. It, it's locked from this side, so we should be able to undo the thing. Alright, that looks like a good enough dead end, so we can grab that. Hopefully, find ourselves an herb along the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now then. There we go. I know it's a lot of books, but you'd think we could muster some degree of leverage and just scoot the thing out. Oh well. Plus we have a gun! Surely the Jack isn't bulletproof. The greatest armor known to mankind. Just shoot the darn thing. Shoot a screw, it's bound to loosen something, right? Anyway. Let's see what we got over here. Ding dong. Ooh, a nice dark area. Delightful to see they forgot to pay their utilities. Or actually set up any kind of lighting up here. This is just a, a workplace accident waiting to happen. Hi. Whoa bam. Fall before me! Whoop! Yeah! Right in the jaw! And I'm gonna shoot your ear off, you don't fall over. Alright. Now, he's obviously gonna get right back up again, but that's perfectly fine. Ooh, hello! Repair plan! Location Police Station, West Side Clock Tower. 
Yeah, that seems about right for here. Due to the high cultural value of the bell, I'm calling a specialist in to make the repairs. We'll go over the details once the once they're on the scene, but in the meantime, I'll take steps to secure the bell since the yoke is threatening to break. Oh, is it now? Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. I... Wait. How do I... Don't shoot a giant bell when it's above you. That's stupid. Can that be used here? Hey! Hey! That didn't make a lot of noise and announce my presence to the entire area. Yay! Wait, what? Oh, is it over here? Ah, here we go. Delightful! Am I like a, a full floor up, though? Oh, dear. Alright, back in the... Hmm? Interesting. So I can swap that gear for the thing over here. Cool. Also, there's a door there that I missed. How'd I pull that off? Eh, whatever. Moving along. Hmm, can't quite get to that. Eh. I don't know if I can shoot those. Nope. Complete and utter failure. Alright. Hmm? Huh? How can I? Oh, that's a window! <laughs> I was like, I thought that was a wall! Ooh, a small gear! Oh, that actually works well right there. Cool! Awesome! Fantastic! What is this? Oh, it's the interior components of the clock face! Duh! Obviously! How do I get... Ooh, I bet you it's that small gear, actually, downstairs. I don't have any first aid or anything, do I? Nope. Alright, cool. Now then, let's just get my blocky ass over here. Ready? Ah! Fits together like a Kinex. I always wanted a Kinex set, you know? Those little... They're like Legos, they fit together. And you can, like, make complex machinery out of them. I always wanted one of those, but... Never really got the chance to use them. And now I'm past the prime of, like, learning such capabilities. My hands don't work the way they used to and all that. Oh, come on, Leon. Just reach in there. Ah. Silly. Okay, so we got the gear turning, but what good did that do? There was a gear up here, right? I mean, up up there. So if we... Oh, wait a second. Oh! Here we go. Hello, outside world. Go away. Ding-a-dong! Huh? You know, I'm gonna turn up my volume. I apologize if there's an echo, but I can't hear nothing. Also waited till specifically till later on when the uh hmm? No, that's not an herb. I'm seeing things which is entirely normal. Anyway, um Ooh Large gunpowder Oh now I'm faced with a conundrum. We have regular gunpowder here. We can combine it with the large to get even more bullets or we can wait, which I'm probably going to wait. That? Huh. That's a weird conundrum. So, I've got two files on this system, right? I've got my file, and I've got my brother Raziel's file. We're kind of playing the game in tandem, since it won't allow... Uh, the game was bought on his account, so I cannot play this on my account in my free time, so I have to use his. He found a figurine there. 
I'm wondering if maybe it crosses over into my file as well? Hmm. Now, can I take this? And the thing doesn't move! Yay! So, does that mean that I can put this gear into the thing up top? That thing even need a gear? I can't remember. <laughs> uh, let's give it a try. Hmm, that doesn't look right. Well, maybe. Eh, it could work. Let's try it. Hey, hey it did a thing! I'm smart. SMRT. <laughs> Yeah, that is weird. It's not a... with my finger, it's not a... Oh, my goodness. Well... Let's just announce to the Hopefully entire place... Hope I don't have to write a report? Leon, there are more pressing things. I mean, th sure, this is your first day as a officer of the law, but, uh... There are bigger problems going on, particularly the fact that we just announced to the entire of Raccoon City, in its entirety, that uh, we are here, free buffet, human meat nom noms. Okay, now, let's not do that. Examine. There's a thing in there. Yeah, there we go. Squeak. Yoink. All right, so now we've got that. I think that's all we needed. So, all things considered, we should be heading back downstairs. Now. Ding-a-dong. The bodies are... Oh, they're not gone, they're just over there. Don't keep your head low. Come here, officer. Give me a big smile. Alrighty. Music's getting louder. I don't like that. Oh, it realized it. It left. <laughs> cool. Let's just meander our way to this here door. Aha! There we go. Bah! Ding-a-dong! Housekeeping! Alright, hang on a sec. So in this room, there is a blue herb that is useless to me. Actually, I did find out recently that if you combine a blue herb, and a green herb, and a red herb, then you get some kind of defense boost thing. For a limited time, which in most cases means that I'm never going to use it. But, mm. also, do these stack? They do! Hmm. Alright, may as well start collecting them then. And there's also just a bluer useless. Alright, so, let's head downstairs. Uh, what do we got? All the way down. See, we got this one, which we need to get to. But all the way down. Oh, hello. Interesting things. Always good. That's right. I must have completely forgotten to go all the way down. Oops. My bad. Now then. Oh, hi. How you doing? You seem to be well barricaded, so I'll just leave you there. Hi. You're ravenously trying to get inside, which gives me the impression that you don't actually have a key to this place and probably shouldn't be coming in, so I'm going to just leave you out there, sir. Sorry, but if you were silly enough to forget your keys, then you're just going to have to wait like everybody else. Now then, what has me? High grade gunpowder. Ah. Ah, and dust! Ah, what the hell? It went through my defensive barrier of glasses. Ah! Oh, it got worse! <laughs> oh, give me a sec. Oh, that's better. 
All right, now, if we combine this with the high-grade gunpowder, we should get a minorly mediocre increase in ammo reserve. Wahoo. Well, I guess five bullets is better than three, so I shouldn't complain. Oh, oh my goodness! You are styling, my man! Just full on- whoa, huh? Oh, I don't like them noises. Let's just cautiously grab his ass for some ammo or something. Ah, gunpowder! Let's just toss that in there. Alright, combine the- excuse me. Combine that with the bullets we have. Yes! No more of uh, this. No more Mr. Key guy. Let's get rid of that. Alright. Quit making noises over there! Alright. Even more nervousness, the system is starting to pick up noise. Or create noise, rather. Ugh. Anyway, confiscation report. August 14th, 1998. Location, RPD. Second floor. Waiting room. Reason for confiscation. A suspicious man was found at the location listed above. When confronted by an officer, he tried to escape by acting confused, but was arrested. A note he had on him was confiscated. <coughs> Remarks. It's not like everyone doesn't know who it is. But it's Justin Hansen, age 39, city resident, single, and looking. No, uh, and a regular fixture in our jail. He wasn't a bad guy per se, but just a bit of a bird brain kleptomaniac. Oh, so a gamer. <laughs> Can't believe he tried to pull a fast one in the police station of all places, though. There's a scrap of paper in a plastic bag. Okay, I, I guess it's this, then. Oh, I see. It, it's kind of, like, uh, paper clipped on. Six to the left, two to the right, eleven to the left. So, that said second floor waiting room, didn't it? Maybe? Yeah, location, second floor waiting room. Right. So now we can finally figure out what the hell is in that safe. I was a little worried, thinking I missed it, anyway. Oh, uh, back with connects. Yeah, uh, they were a lot like Lego. Let me uh, describe that a bit more. Ooh, hello. That looks like a... I'm, the, 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 God, the, the thing that I put in the box that I didn't think I would need because of... Okay, so we got the box. <laughs> There's minor freak out out of the way. Quit making noises! Oh, stop it! Grr! Oh, hello. So anyway, they were kind of like Lego, but they had a lot more variety to them. And, uh... Oh, right, yes. They had, like, uh... Uh, a bunch of them had gears and, like, sort of lever arms that you could attach to them and make, like, uh, cars, trucks, factories, all sorts of stuff. Most of the time, uh, I see things that... Ah! Son of a bagel biscuit buttered on bread. I got scared by my reflection. Anyway. This door open? Oh, it's a heart door. Wait a second. This just leads out here, which kind of negates the need for opening this door ever. Huh. Interesting. Weird that they have that, but okay. Ah, now my leg's getting numb. Okay, so, I always see these uh, wild and crazy uh, connects builds where the kids build like... Uh, oh, what's the word for it? Carnivals! Like, big... Knock it off! Anyway, uh, they build, like, giant, uh, water, not water wheels, um, 
Oh, what's the name of that thing? Ah, bloody hell. Um, but yeah, the, the giant wheel that you kids get in and goes around in a circle, woohoo, and there's all sorts of magnificent stuff that is completely beyond my mind. <laughs> but yeah, cool stuff. Now, uh, let me scoot up a bit so I'm a little more in frame here. Uh, let's grab that on the way back. This goes to the roof. The roof goes to a dead end. So that's not good. We need to go... Oh, this is the... I am on the second floor. For some other reason, I thought I was on the first floor this entire time. I know I was downstairs, but I thought I was in the basement. Huh. Cool. Awesome. Fantastic. Now, let's grab this thingy and get out of this thingy. Ding-a-dong. Hey, Mr. X. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Just beat the crap out of me. Okay. Uh, real quick. Right. Left six. Right two. Left eleven. Six, two, eleven. Let's see. Six, two, eleven. Six, two, eleven. Yeah? Hey, hey, I did it right. I always get confused. Muzzle break? Ooh, fancy. Custom part for the Matilda that reduces recoil and noise, uh, nuzzle, muzzle rise by redirecting propellant gas up and away from the barrel. Is that what a muzzle brake actually does? I don't know guns. <laughs> Alright, just combine that. Ooh, pretty. Starting to look like a James Bond film. Alright, sweet. So, now that we have that, we've been through the clock tower and collected everything that we can there. Cool, awesome. <gasps> what? There was a green herb there the whole time? Grr! All right, um, yeah, I'm going back. <laughs> I do not want to continue my little. I think he's on the other side. Don't look up on girl. Sounds like he's everywhere. Laters. Also, I think he may actually be everywhere. No, that's not right. Ah, straight shot through this place. Okay. Ding a dong. <laughs> Don't mind me. Ow, oh, come on. Bloody hell. Stupid Zombro. Always being in the way. All right, so it is here somewhere. Over the rainbow. Yep. Ha! Ha! There we go. Briefly sound like Cinder from Killer Instinct there. I always love my basic combo with that guy. Just continuously punch while going, ha, 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 ha. The same sound effect every time. It's awesome. All right. I should not have... Well, the only thing in the box is blue herbs, isn't it? Eh, whatever. Okay, so... Which direction do we actually want to go? If we went there... No. No, that wouldn't be good. Alright, where are we actually headed now that we got the thing... Yeah, back down to the kennel, which means the right side of the map. Okay, this away, and we're back to precisely where we were before, which is really annoying. But eh, whatever. And let's see here. Oh no! Ha! Ah. Uh, ow! I knocked off your hat! Get distracted! <laughs> so that's a thing! 
Okay, so I guess we're going this way. Fall! Alright. My thumb slipped on the control stick. That was annoying. Alright, so let's just get out of here. Head the long way. Actually, now I think about it, we can give him the double take. Later. This is much better. Plow, oh, my plan fell through. I forgot about that. Okie dokie, so we're going the long way. Oh. Kind of still work our way around him, but now we'll have to take the ladder. Again. Sucks that we can't stab behind us with the knife. That would be incredibly useful. In instances where we get grabbed from behind. The grenades probably won't do us much good, but the knife definitely could. If only. After Leon gets his CIA training, he probably could. Well, I don't know. Aside from the fight with Krauser in Resident Evil 4, uh, spoilers if you haven't played Resident Evil 4, they came out, what, a decade ago or something? Um, he has... I wouldn't say substantial skill with the knife, but he can at least hold his own. But I'm trying to think if he's ever had the uh, capability or even option to use his knife in reverse. Probably wouldn't be as effective with it, considering that using it at that time, a zombie would be chowing down on his neck like kibble. Alright, now, we're back to the waiting room. Where were we actually headed? Let me think a sec. We have to get to this room. Which is not able to get there from the roof. Right. Okay, so... Yeah, back to the main room, and then through... Hmm. <laughs> Give me a sec. I don't know why, but the layout of this area is throwing me off. So if we go through the watchman's room, which we get to from the main hall. Right. Okay, so, back to the main area. Hopefully we gave him enough of a runaround that he's still tailing us from behind and hasn't figured out that going through the library is actually a faster more effective way to get at me and my vulnerable parts. Listening around for footsteps. For a second it sounded like a human voice, which I think was just Marvin. Still struggling with his humanity and or lack thereof. Ooh, I do not like loud noises. I do not like them semi-em. Now, just zip over here. Also, there. This door is marked as closed. Hooray! Let's shove that in there. Now I don't have to keep seeing this place on the map and be like, there's a, a gray door there. Why haven't I gone through there? Where am I going? Wait a second. Yeah, that's right. This should lead not to the place where I want it to. Wait a second. What? Oh, the watchman's room. I completely bypassed it. Whoops. Going back. Let's see. I've got about six minutes there. Perfectly fine. Perfectly manageable. Hi. How you doing? That's not the... Where the hell's the... There's the door! Open up, you! Oh, that's where I am! Past Intestinal Dave! Okie dokie! Ah. Hi, you! Waiting there in the dark, like... Coulson from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Ah. Stop at that! Ugh. You're being very unwelcoming right now! 
All right, so now that we're down here, where do we go? Uh, first things first, I do not have gunpowder, which means grabbing that other gunpowder is going to be null and or void for me. So we're just going to go the other way. Also get that shotgun ready because you just know some doggos are going to try and nibble me up. Like kibble, which seems to be the pattern. Why is the music doing that? You know, orchestral stings are just full of bad news. Okay, so, we're here. We use this thing, examine it, turn it around, press the button. Aha! There's the place we need. Ooh. A gun stock. Custom part for the Matilda that allows the gun to fire three rounds per pull of the trigger. Awesome. Cool. I actually saw Raziel use this. He didn't get much farther than me, but he got a little bit of a distance. Stick this bad boy on here. Each pull of the trigger does not fire three bullets every time. You actually have to hold it down. It's quite useful. Also, that's useless now, so let's get rid of that. Toss. Put this, excuse me, put that bad boy up here. Sort of like that. Get that over there. Actually, no. Let's put it, let's put these below the place we need them. Yeah, so it's like, uh, gun, bullets. And gun, bullets. All right. I can work with that. Sure. Shove that over there, because it's the most useless thing. Alrighty, now, we got to the parking garage. Ah, yes, we need to put the thingy in the thingy so we can get the thingy and get this thingy over here to open. Right. Alright, let's do that. How's my time? Three minutes. I think we can get there in that time. Yeah, this is the way we go to jail, go to jail, go to jail. Now that we have that computer thingy, pretty sure... We got the other panel in there already. You're not intimidating. Go away. Hello, Smash Face. How you doing? Uh, yeah, just that little corner. Awesome. Doink. Oh, no. One of these. Oh, wait, wait. I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, so. Yeah, this can only go like that. Perfectly fine. That's a broken thing. That continues onward. Let's see about this away. Ah. So, this one needs to be connected that away. Which can't actually be done. Which means we connect this way. And it reroutes around and goes to the thing. Oh, crap. There's a third one. Bloody hell. Okay. Wait, that... What? That still works. Oh, that's what's changed. Right. I got it. I actually kind of solved that one by accident. I didn't see the answer until I did it. All right. Cool. Now, what has we here? Ben's memo. Also, oh, I'm at a minute. Let's go ahead and close that just in case I get chased by Mr. X. <clears throat> the station's swarming with monsters. Even I can hear, or even here I can hear their cries. But it's not the zombies I'm afraid of. Codename Tyrant. The ultimate bioweapon developed by those bastards in their ultimate secrecy. Uh, utmost uh, secrecy. To think that that thing might be wandering around here? Chances are they've ordered it to wipe out the witnesses. That's me, Ben Kingsley. Yeah, I don't know. First aid spray. I need that. I actually do need that. Yoink. Awesome. Hello? Parking permit. Ooh, and a recording. 
I'm so blocky. That doesn't explain the rumors about the orphanage. I just find it way too coincidental umbrellas one of the benefits of having an You can't spit, spill the beans like that and expect them to keep going with the interview. Oh, it's a full-on transcript. Okay, cool. Don't need that, though. This I do need. Raccoon Police Department. Parking permit 178332. Hey, that's almost the number of my, uh... When I was role-playing in the space station, my prisoner ID. Cool. Anyway, hmm. what are they after? the one I made up though was, uh, if I can remember it, I think it was 18773. No real reason for it, it just sounded cool to me. <laughs> anyway, That's not yep, hidey ho, Zombros. Oh my, that's uh, not good. Um, I have another flashbang, don't I? I do. I can just... La bang! Oh, that did nothing. No, wait, actually, it kind of did. Yeah! Alrighty! Oh, come on! Yeah! No! I need to get around! Ah, knife! Knife him! Yeah! Go, go, go! Oh, come on! This is not good! I didn't know he'd be there! Yeah! Oh, go away, you crawly McDude! Uh, how we how we doing? Orange caution, that's not good. Oh, boy. What the hell? Can you put me down, please? Uh. Swat? I know that coat. Nice! Thanks for that. <coughs> Goodness, that look ridiculous. Getting old. Saving your ass, that's twice. I didn't realize you were keeping Thanks. score. Thanks. Look, this isn't a game. Actually, it is, and it's an awesome one. You put bombs in there? Yeah. And this. Knowing that would happen, or you could explain what's on it. Did it just kind of work out that way? Maybe. After I hear it. Lab G virus umbrella. That, that's mainly the bullet points. Alrighty. So. Let's go ahead and use this parking key. Get the heckity heck out of here. Shall we? If only I could duck. Wait. I... No, I can't duck by normal. Okay. Finally, we're out into the wild blue. I want to go back. I can't. Um, how did we get there? Can't remember. T bar handle set. Hmm, interesting. Uh, the underground section. Oh, right. The uh, ladder. You know what? <laughs> Is that the intel you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ah, let's go. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible. Hey, wait up! I'm over time. I need to find a safe place, but also I need to find, more importantly, the the item box. Gun shop kindo. Stylish. I like it. 
Ding dong. Oh, great. It's too bad we're a cop and can't open doors. <laughs> Roads out. Going through that you think? think? The only way. I thought this was Resident Evil, not Silent Hill. Hmm. Interesting. Do you think Silent Hills is somewhere in the mystery over in that direction? Lost to the sands of time? Oh! You've got your CIA ways. I see. Nice. All right. <laughs> now then. Long barrel. Hoo, 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 hoo. Let's go ahead and combine that right away. Awesome. Oh, crap. It does mean that both of these take up two slots, but we've got plenty of slots for everything that we need. I'm just going to toss that over there because... Forget my pattern of doing things. Uh, hmm. Do I examine then? Or? I don't know. Long barrel makes it better, though. Always makes it better. A grenade! That'll come in handy, especially since I'm out of sub-weapons and Mr. X is walking around with my knife in his arm. Piece of crap. Wait, wait, wait. Is that bullets? That's bullets! Yay! Okay, so I can switch over to this thing and save more ammo. I'm not gonna hurt you. I said don't Hi. move! I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you one. You gotta turn around and go right back out the way you came in. I'm gonna go for no. I think uh -oh. your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate? That's not gonna happen. It's my fucking daughter. Yeah. We just stumbled onto The Last of Us. <laughs> Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Dad? She spoke. She must have just gotten bitten. Okay. Those fucking things outside. What they did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? We're working on that. Sweet little angel. Mommy. Not quite, no. Okay. And I'm gonna put you to bed too, okay? Emma. Well, this jolly adventure got sad. Just give us some privacy. Okie dokie then. You know, it's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? Yeah, listen to my blocky face. I want to find out what's happening here and stuff whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. Yeah. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. I'm fine with that. Save the city. Count me in. Down with Umbrella. They caused the infection, caused that. Ain't no way we're gonna let them survive. <laughs> Seven games later. Anyway. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical company. Yeah, a little bit. Making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains oh, delightful. the horrible things I've seen. 
We're not going down there, are we? No, oh, we're going down there. Excuse and that's me. That's why I'm looking for Annette Birkin. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. I'm going to bring her down. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's Leon's pained groans as she's expositing all this information. Oh, jeez. Umbrella's responsible for all of this. They created bioweapons and turn people into monsters. Meanwhile, <clears throat> based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Well said. <laughs> After you. Gee, thanks. Oh, what a delightful locale we've just gotten ourselves into. Um, thankfully there's no items this way. Don't mind me sprinting, Ada. I just have to get to the science. next save area. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Oh, into the so belly of the beast! The city. Through the How sewers! How they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Umbrellas control the city. What? The rich and powerful have secrets? I didn't know that! Jesus! Ooh. That an earthquake? I sure as hell hope so. I still have to remember. It's his first day on the force. He... What the hell? Stay can be naive at times. Oh my! What, uh... That was a gator, wasn't it? A friggin' sewer gator! Oh boy, oh boy. Well, we're back, so I'm gonna have to end the episode here and have the next episode start off on a kick! Anyway, um... First things first, though... Excuse me? Nope, not that! This one! Let's combine this with that thing, because it's obvious. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ah! This is one item that I do know about. Let's examine this thing. Doink! It's a USB! And if we examine it again... Yes! We can press this thing again and take the USB slot back in, and it'll act as a key for another thing, which I think I remember the location of. I'll have to double check. But now we can get a Magnum, and I think a submachine gun, maybe? I think it's a type of weapon. I don't know for sure. But we will find out in the next episode where I backtrack my ass off and see if I can get back to the police station where everything is. Oh boy. I do not want to face a giganto freaking gator. Anyway, thank you all for watching. This, of course, has been Let's Play Blocky Leon in uh, Resident Evil 2. And just a remark, this is retro style, but his face is still quite detailed. Which is surprising. Now that I really look at it, there's a good amount of detail in this outfit, too. Not bad. Good on you, developers. Any hoodle. Thank you all for watching. I, of course, am selling graves, and I will catch you in the next one. Later.